Welcome to the inaugural Motorhome Legends. I'm Kirsty Bedford, editor at Adventures Group, and we're going to show you a diverse range of motorhomes from entry level to premium. We've pulled together two industry stalwarts to review the RVs. Richard Barwick heads up the largest RV club in the Southern Hemisphere, the Cantervan and Motorhome Club of Australia, known as CMCA, and Adventures Field editor Malcolm Street, who has reviewed hundreds of motorhomes and caravans over more than two decades. Our mid-range vehicle, the Wearaway, retails for about a quarter of a million dollars and has everything inside including the kitchen sink and built on a Mercedes-Benz cab chassis, it's stylish both inside and out. Certainly the affordability of the Wearaway motorhome is an added attraction to what's on the market today. It's just under 8 metres long, comes with a full slide out on the driver's side, has a GVM of 5.25 tonnes, it means of course an LA licence but it's really not a difficult motorhome to drive at all. It comes with uh, Benz's standard 3 litre motor, which puts out about 140 kilowatts of power, and all that of course drives through Mercedes super duper, super smooth automatic gearbox, which slides through the gears up and down very easily. Priced in what you would consider middle of the range, the quality components of this motorhome are really good features. One of the quality features of this motorhome is the automatic awning. The arms extend automatically, so there is no adjustment required once the awning is fully extended. Another feature of this motorhome is the automatic levelling legs. They can adjust the motorhome left or right to the conditions of the terrain. Given this motorhome has a tear weight of 4.6 tonnes, that gives about uh, 650 kilograms of load capacity, which I reckon is a very generous amount for a motorhome. Certainly, for those sort of weights, you won't have any issues with overloading. On the rear corner of this motorhome are a couple of great features I really like. One is this built-in hose system. It's pressurised, so you can not only use it for filling your tank, but you can also use it for something like washing down your motorhome and it gets really dirty, or even washing down the barbecue here. And the slide-out barbecue, it looks a bit low there, but it actually comes up just like that and you're ready to roll with a sizzling steak. Other features I quite like about the Wiraway is the external storage system. Instead of a locker where you've got to bend down, this has a drawer. And you just open it thus. Very nice and easy to use, very nice and easy to get at. Wiraway's electrics, quite sophisticated. Some of the batteries there have two 110 ampere hour deep cycles. That's backed up by a 130 watt solar panel and there is of course a generator which can be started from inside. The other item here, just in case you're wondering, is the hot water heater. There's plenty of space inside for a table, a three burner plus electric stove top and even a pull out pantry. How cool is that? I'm particularly impressed the layout of this motorhome. The slide out offers that additional piece of area where people can relax. The decor is of a laminex finish, which is getting away from the traditional finish that is in most motorhomes. This product is resilient and it is very appealing aesthetically. Perfect for a couple, there's plenty of space inside and there's even the essentials, a liquor cabinet. It might look complicated, but one of the features I like about the Wurrae is a very simple to use control panel. Handily, it's all in the one place. And so you can turn your satellite TV on, turn the generator on and off, monitor the battery condition, uh, switch over from mains to generator, turn the radio on and off, that's really important. And you can also monitor your fresh and grey water tanks and the fuel tank for the generator itself. All very handily located. The bathroom has plenty of space with a large shower, European design basin and there's even a washing machine. One of the things that I like about driving a Mercedes Sprinter is the seats. They're very comfortable, as you can see they swivel around when they're facing forward for the normal driving position. All the controls are readily at your hand making this a very easy driving motorhome. 
Whether it's a weekend away or travelling for months on end, we really believe that this super stylish motorhome has everything you'll need.